My name is Paulo Neves uh, from Ryzen in Brazil. I'm the head of trading for ethanol internationally and domestically in Brazil, plus oil products, clean products, international trading uh, of Ryzen as well. In the short term, um, I would say we're quite stable. We, in terms of production, in terms of uh, sugarcane availability, things should be keeping the same pace as the last two years in Brazil, so around 650 million tons of sugarcane. We have a big question around sugar, so uh, mix probably in the next year or two could be more towards ethanol than, than sugar, which is quite different from the previous two. So this might change a bit in terms of offer coming from Brazil, but at the same at the same time, uh, Brazilian demand is keeping up again after you know two bad years of all the economic problems that we have been facing, and now things seems to be uh, coming back to to a normal condition, and we're growing again. So uh, at the end, when we put it together, demand and offer, we should be you know quite stable for at least a you know, couple of next years. After that, thinking a little bit longer term, there is a good perspective that we may have additional offer coming from Brazil due to all the efforts that the government uh, trying to make in order to, to achieve our, our Paris Agreement terms that were signed a couple of years ago uh, here in Europe. So this might promote additional sugarcane production coming from Brazil in order to, to, to take the space that are done now with uh, more gas imports. So rather than importing more gas, producing more local ethanol. When it comes to international market, uh, clearly we've been seeing U.S. growing and showing some surplus in, in the last couple of years. I think this trend should be you know, steady and, and stay in there for, for some period. Brazil is, has a short, uh, which seems to be the case for also the uh, you know, next couple of years or three. So uh, I think the big question uh, for me uh, for the you know, next years on, in terms of international trade flows and commerce is that uh, with new oil price reality that we are facing now at 60s, ethanol is turning to be really a competitive alternative in terms of costs. So we should be waiting somehow countries in Asia or other uh, transport fuel importers looking at a solution towards a ethanol blend in order to make it more economical for, it, for its country. So um, I would guess uh, this would be something that uh, together with uh, all the, the, the growth in production in the U.S. Could, could make a good combination for the future. It's one of the best events uh, for ethanol around the world. It's really great to be here joining people from uh, almost everywhere. Uh, so it makes a very good week of meetings and, 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 and opportunities to be talking about different realities around the world. So, uh, when I mean around the world, it's truly around the world. So you have Brazilians, Americans, uh, Europeans, which are generally everywhere when you, when you go for a conference. But uh, we can also see lots of guys coming from other regions as well as in Asia and you know, Africa, Middle East. So it's very uh, complete uh, in this sense. And you know, not to mention that the quality of the discussions here are always in an upper level in, in Europe than uh, in other places in the world. So it's, it's very good for us. Mm -hmm.